if someone were to become in contact with this contaminated water, it doesn't mean that they're necessarily going to become colonized or infected with these multi-drug resistant organisms. It takes a, a little bit more than just exposure. Uh, often these multi-drug resistant organisms have a lot of uh, DNA, a lot of extra baggage that make them slightly less fit to live in the normal gut. However, the types of bacteria that they found, these superbugs, uh, that contain uh, specific kinds of enzymes that break down even our newest antibiotics, uh, these tend to be pretty lean, uh, meaning that it doesn't uh, take very much for them to colonize a relatively healthy person. And so just exposure to that bacteria alone doesn't necessarily mean that someone's going to get colonized with that bacteria or later infected with that. But the presence of these bacteria are certainly concerning. One of our newest classes of antibiotics, and in a way, one of the last lines uh, of treatment of, of resistant bacteria are the carbapenems. And these are antibiotics uh, that we will use to treat sometimes very severe infections. So the term CRE is referring to carbapenem resistant Enterobacteriaceae. And Enterobacteriaceae are just bacteria that can cause infections that normally inhabit the gut. And these are concerning because we know that uh, people who are infected with CRE uh, don't respond as well uh, to the antibiotics that they're given and, and die in larger numbers and have more complications. Part of this is that the antibiotics we have to treat CRE are often actually older antibiotics and more toxic antibiotics. Uh, and so our treatment options aren't as good. Uh, and so we worry about people who are colonized, meaning that their, their bodies are containing CRE because it can later uh, cause infection elsewhere in the body. Just being exposed to CRE doesn't mean that you're going to get colonized or later infected by it. Uh, but it does speak to the larger issues of antibiotic overuse, uh, especially in the, in the developing world, where often you don't need a prescription to get an antibiotic, uh, as well as issues of, of sewage treatment and how uh, you know, wastewater can then mingle with, uh, with naturally occurring waters. The most important thing for people to know is that, uh, in general, uh, we should try to reduce our overall antibiotic exposure uh, individually and also as a, as a culture, as a population. Uh, these multi-drug resistant organisms are proliferating because of antibiotic overuse and often antibiotic misuse. Uh, getting exposed to a, a multi-drug resistant organism is not going to automatically get somebody colonized with it, but if somebody is sick already, maybe their normal flora has already been altered because of antibiotics that they're on, and that does put them at increased risk of being colonized and then later infected by one of these multi-drug resistant organisms.